opportunities to just give up and quit. But Joseph never did that. I think that's so important for each one of us as we go through our lives to remember. One thing is, through adversity, he achieved greatness. Uh, sold into slavery, falsely accused, all those things, but he worked hard. He earned favor of those around him because of his attitude and his work ethic and his willingness to serve. This adversity that we're dealing with today, we can achieve greatness. We can do great things. We have some opportunities. We've just got to look for them. Secondly, during his darkest times, he helped others. He helped the prisoners. You know, he helped, he worked, helped Potiphar. He helped everyone he was around. We have the opportunity to do the same. And again, you know, we've got to be creative and there are ways that we can be helping right now and reaching out to other people. So hopefully we will find ways to help others. And third, Joseph didn't try to take credit or push his own agenda. You know, Joseph gave credit where credit was due. He gave credit to God for the abilities that he had and things he was able to do. And we need to do the same. We need to give credit where credit is due. Know that God is there for us. He's helping us and he'll help us get us through hard times. You know, we think we're dealing with hard times, but there have been there was a generation that went through World War One, the Spanish flu, the Great Depression, and even spanned World War II. You know, people who've dealt with adversity and hard times, those are some of the greatest people that have ever lived. We've well, got an opportunity right now to, to really grow and to stretch and become the best version of ourselves through a difficult time. So that would be my challenge for each one of us. You know, let's, let's study Joseph and his life and how he responded when detours came along. Because, you know, there's a saying, life is a journey, not a destination, but really life is a journey with a destination. And as we strive for our eternal destination, we need to make sure that we enjoy the journey and we take advantage of every opportunity that we have. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Bailey White and I'm a senior from Tupelo, Mississippi and this year I have served as the president of the Freed Hardeman chapter of the Alpha Chi National Honor Society. Uh, one thing that I really love about Freed Hardeman is all of the friendships that I've made that will last for the rest of my life. Um, one thing that I really miss about being at Freed Hardeman is being able to live so close to all of my best friends um, and just being able to go and visit whenever I wanted and not have to do a FaceTime call um, or, you know, plan the next time that I get to see them because I could just walk right down the hall to their room and hang out. Um, that's something that I already miss and that I'm definitely going to miss after graduation. I'd like to give a special shout out to the analyst of the First Bank Investment Fund. Last night we had our board presentation and we successfully beat our benchmark, the IWD this semester even in the midst of a pandemic and so we successfully managed the funds that we had um, and were able to manage it even through the midst of a pandemic so um, shout out to you guys for being awesome and for all the hard work that you've put in this semester um, i hope that all of you have a great rest of your day